Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing? Manny Tonelli here, answering your questions today. Today's question piggybacks off of the last question that we got. Um, today's is, who was the best infielder that you played with during your professional career? Um, this one was actually even a little bit tougher than answering who was the best hitter I played with, um, because a bunch of guys come to mind. Um, but I'm going to give you, it's really close here. I'm going to give you my top one, and then I'm going to give you a couple guys that impressed me for a couple of other reasons also. So I think the most impressive guy I saw was David Eckstein. And here's the reason why. We've talked about this before. David Eckstein has been, you know, he had an amazing career. One, you know, World Series. I don't know, he made, maybe won more than one World Series. Um, played a really long time in the major leagues um, and didn't have super tools. So, like... If you watch David Eckstein play, if you went down to the park with him and played with him, like your arm might be stronger than his. You might be faster. You're definitely going to be bigger and probably stronger. Like he didn't have these amazing tools, but he was an amazing player. He's somebody that I think anyone can look at and say, if that guy could bust his butt and play in the major leagues for so long, then I've got a chance because his tools were not great, but he was a great player. He was able to take what he had and perform at a super high level with the tools that he had. So here's the thing about him is, you know, not only was he amazing, you know, he was able to play shortstop without a strong arm. He took, you know, he had to take great angles. He had to get rid of the ball so quickly. Um, he had to do everything right. And he worked super hard to perfect everything that he had to do to make the play in the game. He couldn't just rely again on raw skill or talent because he didn't have a super strong arm. He couldn't, you know, he, he couldn't afford to be lazy with his feet or not be paying attention and not positioning himself, himself the right, the, in the right spots. He had to do all that stuff to make up for maybe some of his limitations. And he was able to do that. And he, and, you know, he just got the, he got the job done, which was the most impressive thing for such a long time at the most demanding position in the infield at shortstop. When I played with him later in his career, when he's with the Padres, um, he was a second baseman. And so we were actually kind of competing. When I was coming up through the minors, he was a starting second baseman for the Padres. And so in spring training every year, you know, we would work in together. He was a starter and obviously I was trying to make the team. Um, and the thing that impressed me the most about him, I think, other than everything I've already talked about, was in practice, he didn't miss ground balls. like. He legitimately didn't miss them. Every ground ball in practice, no matter if it was the first practice of spring training, the last practice, we just got out there, we'd been practicing for three hours, it was extra work, it was early work, it didn't matter. He fielded the ball every single time. Like, he was not, he never said, oh, it's just practice, you know, whatever, I'll just, you know, oh, I miss one, it's okay, I'll get the next one. Like, didn't happen. Every ball that was hit, to me watching him, it felt like he was putting himself in the game in a game, in the World Series. It was the biggest play of the game, and I have to make this play. And he made it over and over again. And if you do that enough in practice, then the game is easy, right? If you make practice really hard and really difficult, you put some pressure on yourself and you say, I demand, you know, you, you, you demand excellence out of yourself. You demand, I'm fielding every single one of these balls, okay? A lot of guys don't do that. A lot of guys go in and practice, oh, whatever, I miss the ball, who cares? It's practice, it doesn't matter. You can't take that to the game because then in the game you'll miss balls. If you make yourself, hold yourself accountable and field every single ball in practice and really be hard on yourself, you know, to me that's what he did. And he fielded everything in practice. He ne I never see him miss balls. And what do you know? He goes into the game and he never misses the ball. Like, it's funny how that happens. Um, and so that was the most impressive part, I think, of his game is what he did in practice and the way he approached it was super, super impressive. And to me, all the best guys that I've seen, all the best fielders, that's how they approach practice. It's not a mistake that they field so well in, in, in the game at the highest level, right? It's not a mistake. People always think like, Ooh, that guy was just born to play shortstop, right? He just came out of the womb and it was like, that's a major league shortstop. No, I'm telling you, it doesn't happen. Like, they those guys work super super hard and they hold themselves accountable and they demand a ton out of themselves and they have really high standards that's how they practice and then they play the same way so he was super super impressive when i was with the orioles i had a chance to watch jj hardy play a lot um 
and he was, you know, I didn't get to see him play as much because I was only with them for, you know, I was only with them for a little bit, had not even half a season, a quarter of a season. Um, but he was really impressive because he was similar. Like he was just the master of like the routine play and you'd watch him and, you, and like nothing would look super smooth, but he made every play. Like the ball went in the glove. He transferred the ball at the same spot every time. And he put the throw on the money every single time. He's just a machine. Right. And he just, it's because of his work ethic and the way he practices. He demands that he does it every time. And then the, the other guy that comes to mind, and this guy, he's played in the major leagues. He's had some major league time. He's been kind of up and down. Steve Lombardozzi. I've talked about Lombo in a few other videos. Lombo was probably the first minor league player that I played with that had the same approach. He reminded me of kind of what David Eckstein was like. But I spent more time around Lombo because... So we were in AAA together um, and ended up being one of my buddies and we played, you know, the same position and, you know, I worked out with him a lot. We took ground balls a lot. And so I really studied what he did. And he was a guy that was just like David Eckstein where he never, he never missed a ball. I don't know if I've ever seen him miss a ball. He came up to AAA. I think he played 75 games in AAA that year or something. And I don't think he made one error the whole season, the whole time he was there. I've never seen that happen before. And I never seen him miss a ball in practice either. Like, he was a psycho about it. Like, just would not miss balls. Like, had to field every ball. Like, I'm telling you, had to field every ball. Not the total opposite of, oh, it's just practice. Like, mm. I, I didn't get to see him get mad because I don't think, I, I honestly don't think I ever saw him miss one. But that's the intensity and the focus every single ball in practice. And then he was able to go into the game. And, you know, he was just an amazing, amazing fielder. And another guy, it's very interesting because he was another guy like Eckstein who when you watched him play, you didn't think he had these amazing tools. Like didn't have a super strong arm, wasn't super big, wasn't super quick, wasn't, you know, didn't have all that natural stuff. But luckily, baseball is a game of can I get, can I get this ball to go in my glove and can I throw the ball to that guy over and over and over again? And it doesn't always matter how big or fast or any of that stuff. Can I execute this you know it's the same thing with hitting can i take this bat and put it on this ball it's move like you don't have to be super big and strong that, that helps but i've seen a lot of guys that get to a high level because they have great skill at whatever it is they do because they work relentlessly at it and it's not just he's born to do it you know it's the it is the opposite of that and it, it's especially true when it comes to infield play because the play in the major leagues you almost can't mess up right like you have to field the ball 97% of the time, 98% of the time. It's amazing when you think about it. And those guys hit the ball so hard at you. And in the major leagues, like they give errors out like they're, you know, like Tootsie Roll. Like if you don't feel the ball, they can hit it. They can smash one at you and like almost take your head off. And they're like, error, right? Like at most levels, they're like, oh, give that a hit. That's a, that's a hard hit ball. In the major leagues, like if you can get the ball, they're going to give you an error. So the guys that field 97, 98% successfully, that's unbelievable amazing they just don't miss balls and you know i don't know what david Eckstein's failing percentage is in the major leagues but i guarantee it's like ridiculous because again i've never seen the guy miss a ball um in the time that i played with him so hopefully that gives you not only insight into the best guys i saw but why they're so good that's the main goal of this video um is to help you guys out so um check out the uh, description box below again for um that plate crate link you guys get 50% off of your first plate crate. If you click the link below, check out their website. It'll explain exactly what plate crate is if you don't know about it already. Um, also in the description box, check out, I've got a bunch of books and um, training tools we use with all of our players and stuff that I think you guys will really enjoy. Check out our Instagram, Antelain Baseball, our Twitter feed, Man Antelain 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out our website, AntelainBaseball.com, where you can find out how to work with our staff and also be part of our teams. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck to you, and we'll talk to you later.